yourself it's so good to have you here again if this is your first time stopping by hey there my name is Kelechi and i'm a master student living in germany i basically just share videos around what it's like to be a student here things you should know before coming things you should know upon arrival and just all of that good stuff basically i personally like to call it nuggets study nuggets or whatever it is you may want to term it but just basically just go through my channel and if it's something that you like something that you vibe with or you're interested in then why don't you be a part of our community by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell that way whenever i have a new video you are instantly notified okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i really do appreciate your presence thank you for riding with me for rolling with me and for rocking with me you guys are the absolute best thank you so guys today's video is something that's been highly requested to be honest like both in the comment sections in my dms y'all up in my dms asking oh what's what, what's a better option to do your masters here in germany or your bachelor's or to do your house building house building is vocational training okay so some people aren't sure which to go for if to go the university path or to go the house building path and that's why i'm making this video today to actually highlight the major differences between these two programs that's one thing i really love about germany not everybody has to pass through the four walls of the university to acquire knowledge you can either choose to go to a university or do a vocational training okay and both individuals will be considered fit to work in the society and give their own quota okay back to the society so based off of that i'm going to be sharing with you the major differences between these two um forms of higher education and hopefully after that you'll be able to make informed decisions of what you want to do whether you're already in germany and you're thinking of switching or you're outside of germany thinking of coming over this video is definitely going to be of help to you so i've rambled enough let's get right into the video already so yeah guys, so we're going to be walking you through the application process i'll tell you first off what house building is all about and i'll walk you through the application process walk you through the duration of studies and all of that good stuff first things first guys ausbildung is just a german word for vocational training this ausbildung in so many sectors but usually the most popular and the most talked about here in germany is ausbildung in the pflege cast like the the health sector okay that's like the most popular here in germany right so based off of that i'm going to be telling you guys highlighting for you guys the major differences so technically the application process of the ausbildung is somewhat different from the application process of a university so normally for a university you would just make an application and then wait for their feedback right the whole statement of purpose and all of that good stuff whereas for, and then you also have to submit some kind of um um result especially now i'm going to be talking for the master's degree program well it's quite similar to the bachelor anyway but technically for you to apply for a master's degree program like you already know you must provide your transcript of records from your bachelor's degree program and if it's for a bachelor's that you're applying for you need to provide your um, results from your secondary school or your high school um program okay but for the house building the nursing house building is different in the sense of the fact that you have to um first make an application like write an application letter to a school or a hospital so usually some hospitals have collaboration with some schools whereas some hospitals also have schools so you have to check out these options available make applications to them write application letters and send to them so you can find these via a random google search or go to the website of the bundesagentur for arbeit and then you're able to find the um, schools or the hospitals that are offering um ausbildung opportunities or ausbildung spaces for students which is almost every time anyway because they're in high demand all right the next step is that you get to be invited for an oral and written interview and these will take place both at the school and at the hospital in question okay so after the written exams you're brought in for a one-on-one -on -one, you know interview and when they are satisfied they would now give you a contract but before then if you have no prior experience or prior knowledge of having worked as a nurse you are given a two weeks internship um trial period and then during this time out they get to see how interested you are 
in doing this task in working in the hospital generally you get to see basically your level of interest and basically a vibe check right and if the energies match and stuff and they're actually convinced that okay you want to learn to do this then you get your contract from both the school and the hospital okay and thereafter classes begin and there you have yourself in the nursing program but on the other hand as a student as a, a student applying for the bachelor's or the master's degree program many schools don't go ahead to do the interview thingy but my school funny enough did the interview process like we had an oral interview with the dean of my um course and then if they are because there was a it was a, a closed um what's it called it was I think they needed just about 30 persons or something of that nature and then if they were convinced from your oral interview then you had a slot that's how it worked for my own course okay but it's just an exception many other programs here in germany for masters or bachelors once you apply and you meet the requirements you get the admission okay so that's the major difference between the application phases for the both now the second one is the duration of study Basically, for a master's degree program, it runs for two years in Germany. For a bachelor's degree program, it runs for three years. However, technically, for a master's degree program, not everybody finishes in two years because the workload of having, except you're not working and all you're doing is just studies, then that's a possibility. But if you're working, chances are that you would move some courses into the next semester and it keeps spilling and spilling and you end up finishing in three years. Some even take a longer time, okay? So it is what it is right but technically quote unquote it takes two years to finish your master's degree program but for a nursing degree program it takes three years now for the nursing as a matter of fact there are two different forms there's the Pflegefachkraft, which encompasses is like it's called generalisierte um uh ausbildung for the nurses like you get it takes care of your um like you get to work in the pediatrics in the nursing home and in the hospitals like all of these are in one and you get to do this for three years and you have the Krankenpflege assistance that one is just one year okay that there after you're done with that you just get to like assist in the hospital you won't take major responsibilities like someone who has done the three-year program okay i hope that makes sense so technically the one that takes three years is all-inclusive where you get to do every single thing that normally um wasn't possible in previous times like previously they used to just do it singly those nurses for nursing homes trained separately those for pediatrics trained separately and those for hospitals trained separately but today there is a possibility of doing everything all in one so that one takes three years and that's what majority of the people are doing and before i forget one very interesting thing about the whole application phase for the um, nursing house building is that they don't care about your background if you're a science student or a, an art student from your high school days it's it doesn't matter at all the most important thing is that they want to see if you have the interest if you have the zeal they don't care about your background once you're willing to learn they will accept you and they will teach you all that you need to know okay good so next on my list is the financial security of being a university student versus being um a nursing student or doing your house building here now bear in mind that the whole house building thing is similar like in terms of the application process and the financial aspects and all of that so it's i'm just using nursing as a, a case study for the rest of them because like i said that's the one that i am knowledgeable about considering that i have people around me who have um ventured into this nursing house building okay i hope that makes sense so now talking about the financial security for a regular university student he or she has to put himself out there to actively look for jobs to do while studying. And chances are also very high that the jobs you get may not match the what you're studying, which is because, I mean, usually many students don't know that there is opportunity for them to do internships or um, working student jobs while being a student. And these internships and working student jobs can be done in their discipline in their area of study but not a lot of students are aware of that so most of the time they end up just going to do stuff like um working in a restaurant as a waitress or a waiter or um working in a warehouse like amazon and the rest of them a lot of them don't know these opportunities available for them so basically you as a university student you're on your own you get to hustle for the jobs that you you could find available to you at a certain point in time okay however for the students of the house building um, um area they get to study work and get paid 
I repeat, they get to study, work, and get paid. Even if they're on holidays, they're getting paid. Even if they're in their classrooms, they're getting paid. When they're working, they're getting paid. However, you need 2,400 hours for you to complete before you can take part in your final exams. So you can't afford to take sick leaves randomly or decide not to go to work because you feel like your money is counting. No, you must complete 2,400 hours before you get to write your final exams, okay? I'm going to be talking about the time factor later, but right now we're still on the financial aspect, which is that for the regular students who are working, like university students, Usually what they will earn in a month will be between 900 to 1,500 euros, depending on the kind of jobs that they get. And we're talking after taxes or before taxes. It really depends. Okay. And for the house building students, for the nursing house building students, usually they'll get somewhere between the same thing, like 900 to 1,300 to 500 euros. But this largely depends on your study year or the city you find yourself in or the state you find yourself in. Usually, I want to believe that um, cities that are very expensive like Munich and the rest of them in the southern part of Germany would normally pay higher considering the fact that, okay, cost of life there is, um, cost of living there is higher than the rest of um, Germany. Okay, so to explain to you how that could factor into the cost. So technically, somewhere between 900 and 1,500 for both of them, it's quite similar if we're being very honest. Before and after taxes, depending on your year, depending on your city of um, or where you live. And for the university students, depending largely on where you work and how many hours you put into, okay? Now that's that for the financial security. Put into the time factor. Hmm. As a university student, you actually have ample time to do what you want to do. Now, what do I mean by that? You tend to be very flexible. You tend to literally be the be your own boss because right now, I mean, as a master student, I remember when I started my program and I was asking my professor stuff and then he was like, you are your own boss. You decide what courses you want to take. You decide when you want to do them. You decide how you want to split them. So technically, you get to decide how you want to run your stuff. Okay. Now, in terms of your holidays, when, um, I mean, as students, we work 20 hours every week. So it's left to you to take holidays when you feel like you're burning out and you're stressed out and you just need a break. You can talk to your boss and be like, okay, hey boss, I need some time off because I need a break. Okay. And then you get a paid time off. And if you're sick, you can take sick leaves. That's the beautiful part about being a student and working like time wise and all of that like you're very you're super super flexible okay you can be very spontaneous with your time because hardly do you get to work on weekends but the reverse is the case for the nursing students how their times have already been calculated for them from the very first day of the house building to the very last day their times have already been calculated so like I said earlier on, you must provide a total of 2,400 hours before you go in for your final exams, okay? So imagine that you have that kind of condition. You'll be very careful not to take random sick leaves or random time offs and all of that. So your holidays have already been calculated. Your times at the hospital have been calculated. Your practical hours calculated. Your times in the school calculated. So you don't exactly have that luxury of time to bolt out and be spontaneous you know what i mean so that's the disadvantage that they have over the students okay their times literally have been calculated and it's too tight for them okay next point is the pr opportunity like the chances of a permanent residency after studies here in germany now if you're a regular university student especially a master student you are given 18 months after your program to find a job in your discipline or choose you go back to wherever you're coming from okay on the other hand for the students of the house building program these guys have an automatic job contract the moment they are done with school like they are really boiling like on no account do you ever hear that someone who did their house building especially as a health worker in germany is asked to leave like most times the hospital where you even did your program offers you a contract before you even graduate or you can look for in another um, city, in another state, where, wherever. You can even leave Germany if you so wish. But truth is that they are hot cakes. Like they really, they rush them as a matter of fact. Let's be very honest, okay? So PR opportunity for them is like a snap of the finger. Whereas for the university students, they really have to hustle to look for a job within the first 18 months of their graduation 
from a university i hope that's clear now the next point is the language needs guys now this is what i'm going to say is a bit of a disadvantage for people who are foreigners okay now if your german language is not up to a b1 and b2 and now i'm talking actual practice and not just in paper because you're going to be communicating with humans and not with computers, okay? So you must know how to communicate. Your communication skills in German must be top-notch so that you're also able to understand the whole theoretical stuff going on in class. So it's compulsory to be a master of the German, the German language to a reasonable extent. However, for the university students, it's usually... It's mostly English language, especially for masters. Like there are tons and tons of master's degree programs that are offered in the English language here in Germany. So for foreigners, this isn't much of a problem. But for the bachelor's degree, it could be a problem because there are more courses in German language than in the English language. Though there are quite a few of them that are in English, but most of the time the courses for bachelor's degree programs are in German and for the masters most of them are in English um, language okay so this is one major difference your language must be top-notch for you to do an house you don't any field whatsoever they use German language maybe there could be some English language taught house you don't now but I don't know about them yet generally what we have available are the ones done in the German language now that being out of the way I'm just going to be highlighting now a few pros and cons of doing your house you don't hear in germany okay now we're going to be starting with the pros the very first one is the fact that as a health worker if you're in nursing um at to be you have access to lots and lots of incentives especially during the pandemic when lots of them were literally their lives were on the line like these guys are really heroes in their 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 heroes that don't wear capes they wear scrubs like technically their lives get to be on the line so whenever possible they are giving incentives and i think that's a really cool thing about being a nurse being a nursing student or being a nurse generally or being a health worker or whatever in germany okay now the second pro about this is the fact that you get to receive actual practical knowledge of what you are studying so you're not all up in the book getting theoretical stuff you're also getting practical stuff and tell me what's better than that like getting studying and then getting that exact practical knowledge at the same time like simultaneously that's actually like the best thing that you can do for yourself and that's the reason why they have automatic pr when they finish their studies because for a german to give you a job they want to be very sure that you know what you're doing and not just on paper they're not just they're not they're not very interested in what's written on paper they want to be sure that you know your onions you know your stuff okay so that's one thing that gives them an edge over the university students because anybody who is hiring you that have just finished your house building knows that you have got the stuff for the last three years that made sense right right next pro is that of course they get paid while studying that's the coolest thing ever as a matter of fact if i had my way i would switch to our freedom but guys mm -mm, i'm not a very big fan of body fluids okay so that's that for that and the last but not the least is that they get better integrated into the system like the languages get tighter because they get to communicate with people you know every day you are literally having contact with core germans so there's no way you wouldn't learn this language. There's no way you wouldn't learn their culture. There's no way you wouldn't get better integrated into the system, okay? And now moving on to the cons. Like I mentioned earlier on, body fluids are not something that I'm very comfortable with. And I know a lot of people are like that. So if you're not very comfortable with body fluids, this, this could be a problem for you. You need to have empathy for you to be able to work as a nursing student, okay? For you to be able to work in the health sector, all right? And the next one would be the time factor, guys. I can't imagine not being flexible with my time. I'm one of the most spontaneous human beings out there, if I do say so myself. But the only thing holding me back is money. If I have money in this life, hey, God, I can just wake up by 12 o'clock and plan it if I move. That's how spontaneous I can be. So I can't even imagine my time being tied down because of some school stuff. No, like, no, 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 no. I'm not a fan of that. And even beyond, beyond the studies, like, even when they actually start to work, their times don't belong to them because they usually do the whole weekend shift and morning after nah fam that life is not for me okay so yeah guys this is one major con of being a nursing student or being a yeah being a nursing student or being a nursing out to be here in germany now the last but not the least is the language like need i say more if your language is not fluent enough in german or if you're not even interested in learning the german language just forget about our freedom here in germany because for now, to the best of my knowledge, 
you need a sound knowledge of German to carry on with your house building here in Germany in whatever branch, be that nursing or whatever, wherever it is that you find yourself, okay? So guys, that's that for this video. I have spoken enough and I hope that this video is helpful. I hope you've been able to understand everything that I've said today and I hope I've been able to properly distinguish the differences between the both, um, um, yeah, is that speeder? between the both, um, you get the point, okay? Um, I hope I've been able to properly stimulate your minds as to inform your decisions on which path to go for, just in case you are confused, okay? If you liked this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. It's going to show me that you are appreciative and it's going to be a form of encouragement as well. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you already in Germany? What did you opt for? Did you opt for the university um, program or you opted for the house reading program? I'm curious and I'd love to know. And if you're not in Germany, if you're outside of Germany, is this the kind of system that works in your country as well? Let me know and let's continue the conversation in the comment section. So guys, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed and I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye.